Hey guys, Killer6 here, and today I'm bringing you an item review, and this one is one that you probably, most of you haven't heard of. It's called the Cracked Sash. The Cracked Sash is a purple rarity TD or shield most commonly dropped by chubby enemies and occasionally by badass varkets. Panopiction Guy from the Game Facts Forum also reports having seen it in the item of the day in the Zed vending machines before as well. This item apparently steals its name from Diablo 2, where there was a shield there called the Crack Sash as well. Now what makes this shield special is its super fast recharge rate and its super low recharge delay. The delay on this shield is the lowest in the game, usually hovering just below or slightly above one second. I have two versions thanks to my buddy Joe, and these are both sub one second delays. Uh, the one I'm using in this video at the moment is the .98 uh, delay. As you can see in the gameplay in the background, every time I get hit or jump into the corrosion, there's a very short amount of time without shields. So it's so short, actually, that it becomes nearly impossible for normal enemies to kill me unless they're launching multiple attacks or if my health is already low so that when the shield breaks, it you know eats the remaining health that I have. So to combat the main problem with this shield, the issue of you know making sure you're always keeping health, what I would recommend is loading out with a typo negative uh, grenade, which you can get from the Sarah vendors in the Torg DLC. I'm using the Sticky Shock Homing uh, typo negative, which is really cool. Uh, in this video, though, you'll probably see me using the Kiss of Death. I was just playing around with that, seeing if it was any good. Not so great, really, but you know, especially compared to the O negative, which isn't very expensive from the, the Sarah vendor as well. So go check that out, absolutely. Uh, what's cool about the O negative is it seeks out multiple enemies when it splits into the uh, multiple projectiles. Now, essential to my build are powerful weapons like the double penetrating unkempt herald, the ravager, and for easy second wins, I always use the Norfleet. If you don't have any of these, two of them can be purchased in Torg vending machines. The uh, double penetrating unkempt herald randomly will happen in the Torg vending machines. The Ravager, there's lots of different variations of that. The Juicy Ravager grants you a bonus of 50% uh, critical damage. So that one is uh, really nice if you can find a purple variant of that. And the Norfleet you can get by hunting down for Mivorous. I would absolutely positively recommend a four player team to, to get that. Um, another good substitute in this build would be the Sandhawk, which is a quest reward from the Captain Scarlet DLC. You know, that, that's also another one of those really nice uh, SMGs. As a matter of fact, I should probably start loading out with one of those regardless. I've been using the Plasma Caster a lot lately just to get my damage over time with the, the flame uh, element. As always, if you found this video helpful, funny, entertaining, or whatever, please take a moment to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Take care.